Oh, Fallout 76, the gift that keeps on taking. Controversy abound surrounding Fallout 76, Bethesda's bug-riddled disaster of a game. The latest of many complaints surrounding Fallout 76 arises from the game's physical collector's edition and the blatant false advertising that was used to sell it. The Power Armor edition of Fallout 76 has a bunch of crap in there, a little some little figures, a helmet, but more importantly, a canvas bag, or at least that's what was advertised, and still continued to be advertised, long after they changed it from an impressive, nice-looking canvas bag to this shitty, crinkled, flimsy, nylon bag. As of yesterday, store listings still had canvas bag written down, but that was blatantly false. Now, collector's editions uh, and products in general rarely look quite as good as the official PR photography, but the difference in quality here is staggering. It's like those little machines you put 25p in and twist, like a gashapon machine, but there are these really crappy ones in Britain, or at least they used to be in the 80s, where you put 25 pence in and twist the thing, you get a little bowl, and inside you might get a rain hat, quote unquote, which was just this bit of creased up plastic and a bit of string that you tied on top of your head. Have a look inside it. Just a look. What is it? A gift from the cheeky chick. <laughs> a lens of Derek. plastic string. No, Derek. Open it up. <laughs> it's a rain hat. Can you believe that? Oh. What a lot Good. of fun we're having. That is how they, they didn't even iron the bags. They're creased to fuck. Here we have Bethesda knowingly switching the material of a product, producing a remarkably inferior version, and just continuing to lie, just to dishonestly advertise something that isn't there. They aliens colonial marines the bag. When someone decided to complain about this situation, they sent an email to the Bethesda Gear help desk to find out exactly what was going on, and the reply they got was pretty amazing. It goes, hello, we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. Wow. Wow. I mean, obviously that just came from some sort of customer service rep, one would assume, but it is a pretty amazing on-the-nose Bethesda response. We know something shit. We don't plan to do anything to fix it. I mean, it just perfectly encapsulates everything surrounding Fallout 76, to be honest. Obviously, from there, the story exploded across the internet and Bethesda had to address it somehow. And their more official response, their, their way to apologise for essentially lying, is shit. It's a shit response. The Fallout Twitter account tweeted out, We understand and respect that there is disappointment with the bag in the Power Armor Edition. We are sorry. Please contact Bethesda Support to provide proof of your CE purchase. They will assist in granting your account 500 atoms. Atoms are the form that this game's monopoly money takes. It's the premium currency used for Fallout 76's microtransactions. So essentially they're saying, sorry about the fake bag, have some fake money. And it's not even an amount of fake money you can do much with. You can get like maybe a, a doormat or something with it. The postman outfit that comes with the canvas bag is on the microtransaction store and costs 700 atoms. So you're 200 short of getting the in-game version of the canvas bag they gave you a nylon version of. <laughs> now a microtransaction economy often gives players a way to earn a little bit of the currency in game somehow so they get invested in the market and hopefully buy more microtransactions. It's a pretty damn common psychological trick and you see it in most games with microtransactions. So by giving players 500 atoms Bethesda is actually trying to benefit from their false advertising. They're just trying to get people suckered into their marketplace. Giving players 500 atoms costs Bethesda almost nothing. It's not an amount of money that people can do much with in-game, and it only stands to potentially get these customers who already got fucked to spend more money on Fallout 76. I don't think I've seen that pointed out anywhere, but yeah, that's what, that's what we're looking at here. Bethesda is using an incredibly common microtransaction marketing ploy here by way of 
a false apology. And they're only doing it because A, they got caught out, and B, enough of a stink was kicked up around their getting caught out. Fallout 76 has been out for quite some time, and they clearly had no intention of fixing the nylon bag problem, or indeed fixing the advertising that still told people they were getting a canvas bag. Now, I've seen some arrogant sneerers from on high saying, well, why did you get a collector's edition in the first place? They're always a waste of money. Don't matter. Don't matter, don't fucking deflect on behalf of Bethesda of all companies. False advertising is false advertising, mate. Fallout 76 has been a comedy of errors, literally. The game runs so poorly and the servers are so unstable that technical errors are quite specifically part of the comedy. After a week, the thing had multiple discounts, which considering it's shit to begin with is only damningly insulting to people who spent full price on this hunk of crap. In recent years, Bethesda has surfed on the back of a ton of goodwill, but it is drying that goodwill up with the world's biggest sponge right now. Fallout 76 is a fuck-up, full of fuck-ups, and orbited by further fuck-ups. On its own, the canvas bag situation is bad enough for any company, but that it's attached to Fallout 76 only further cements what a complete cock-up the whole thing has been since inception. Fallout 76 is ineptitude in the video game industry, given form. And they didn't even have the decency to iron their bloody bags. $200 that Power Armor Edition cost. I forgot to mention, $200. And Bethesda says they don't have enough materials for a canvas bag. Fuck off.